Hi everyone, we are here today in Kansas along the Republican River and I am going to show you what catnip looks like um, or as my daughter calls it cat mint um, because we all know that catnip is one of the favorites for cats um, and my daughter is a <laughs> she's standing right here next to me you want to come in the video and talk about catnip <laughs> No, she's a little shy. Um, my daughter is um, an animal lover and she has been learning about different herbs that um, can help animals. And so she's learned a lot about catnip and cats and she calls it cat mint. What are some of the things that catnip does for cats? You don't know? <laughs> okay, she doesn't know today. Um, so catnip is a very calming herb. It's um, one of the greatest nervines and it's safe for children. So babies or young kids that are colicky or um, can't get to bed nicely or, or don't fall asleep or are restless or are um, aggravated or irritable. Um, this is an excellent safe remedy for kids. You can just take the dried leaf, um, leaves, make them a tea. Um, Catnip is also great um, for pain and even for calming restless adults. So for example, if a woman has um, painful, heavy uh, menstrual cycle, catnip is great for helping relieve some of that pain. Um, I am going to turn around and show you what the catnip looks like. All right, so here we have some patches of catnip. There's one over here and over here. Um, there's one big one right back there, some small little ones over here. Now, how do we identify catnip? Catnip is also part of the mint family, just like nettle is. Um, you can see that it also has these toothed, kind of serrated leaves, not as serrated and edgy as, um, um, as nettle, um, but they are toothed, um, they are heart-shaped, and they're very soft. They're soft and they're smooth. And I'm just gonna pick one here. And don't worry, I will use this later when I get home, so I'm not picking this for nothing. Let's see if we can get get this in focus. Uh, um, wow, my camera isn't focusing right now. Um, but if you look closely, you can see, let's try this again. Yep, there we go. You can see the square stems. Catnip is part of the mint family, so the stems are square. Um, now, one of the best ways that you can identify catnip, besides for just taking a good look at it, um, is by its smell, okay? So you don't have to, you don't even have to rub your fingers against catnip. You can just come close to it and you can smell it. Um, Gila, my herbal mentor, um, once told me that when you smell catnip, you will know that it's catnip. So catnip smells, when you first smell it, it has the smell of mint. That's kind of the, the first aroma that you're getting. It's very, very strong and deep and bold, but it's slightly not minty. Like you, when you smell it, you can tell that it's part of the mint family, but then the smell kind of continues and it runs deeper and it kind of trails off into this like, uh, kind of like dirty laundry kind of smell. I can't really explain it adequately but it's got a very very distinct smell and you will know that it is catnip um, so here you go um, I picked some of these a few days ago and I made a tincture of it um, and I plan to use it for all sorts of things um, I can show you my tincture when we get back it actually is it's it's pretty looking because it has um, I didn't crush up the leaves, I just kind of left them whole so you just can glimpse these really pretty leaves sitting in a jar of alcohol. Okay, so here is my catnip tincture. You can kind of see, still see the shape of the leaves sitting in this alcohol. Just gotta shake that up so that the alcohol is covering it. <clears throat> I'll work on that after. Um, okay, so just a couple more things about catnip um, that I want to go over and then a couple more things to add. So we talked about catnip being great for relieving stress and one minute, sweetheart, um, colic in babies. Um, we talked about it relieving menstrual cramps, but it's also great for all sorts of pains like think um, teething pain for babies 
or um, you know an adult with a toothache. So catnip is great for, it's an analgesic, so it's great for all kinds of pains. Um, it can also be used um, topically by making a poultice of catnip, putting it on an area of the body that's bruised or inflamed, or for a child or an adult who is, a, you know, anxious or stressed out, or maybe a young kid who has colic, you can put them in a bath with catnip. So it also helps externally um, as well. Um, catnip, uh, the, the one thing I didn't mention about catnip, um, or I'm sorry, there are probably many things I didn't mention, but one of them that comes to mind is that catnip is great at lowering fevers in children. And so if, you know, a fever gets too high and you may be concerned and you want to try and lower the fever naturally, catnip is great for that. Um, it's also a digestive and it's great at helping um, relieve stomach cramps or stomach aches, whether it's from, you know, just a, a stomach ache from something you've eaten, it can help with that. But it's particularly good for those anxious, stressful stomach aches. When you get, you know, when you feel like your nerves are kind of all twisted up in your stomach and you're anxious, catnip is great for relieving those kinds of stomach aches. You can take it as a tincture, you can drink it as a tea, and again, you can um, soak in the bath um, to uh, relieve that stress from a stomach ache. Um, let's see what else. Um, it's, it's a very versatile plant. It definitely... Um, it has a lot of properties and a wide range of healing. And so I recommend definitely having catnip on hands, especially if you have young children in the house, because like I said, it can be used for so many issues for babies and young kids. Um, and it's, it may not be the best tasting herb. Um, you kind of probably for a child, you want to uh, dilute it with a good amount of raw honey. Um, I can't really explain what the flavor is when you drink it, but it's, it's not very pleasant. Um, so you can mask it with whatever kind of sweetener you may want to use, or maybe, you know, make it into, um, an ice pop somehow, um, you know, blended with honey, something like that. Um, and feed it to your children that way. Um, all right. So this was the lesson on catnip. Here we go. One more time. Um, I hope you enjoyed this.